Hey everybody, it's Lori Brogaloni. I'm here getting ready to feed my horses. So I thought I'd shoot this quick video uh, about laminitis. Uh, if you want to hear a story, it's really cool. It's not really cool, but it's it's awesome. But anyways, I was in the, uh, it was the year I was writing Natural Equine Remedies book. And they're just so hungry, they're so cold. And um, <laughs> My first, my first editor, he didn't know anything about horses. He set up the format and that was cool. Then he disappeared. Got one from Australia, she disappeared. And what's that have to do with laminitis? Well, I went out to do a call. I think it was in April. Yeah, it was in April because this lady met me through, I think the internet. Her name, I, mean, I can't say her name. She was a client very well. Uh, she got paid a lot of money as an editor for the government. So she knew what she was doing. So she had me come to her barn and look at her horse, Teddy, and she wanted me to look at another horse that was the barn owner's horse, okay? Now, if you guys know anything about laminitis, it's extremely painful when it happens, okay? So um, they, just, they just hate this cold weather. <laughs> so when I got there, I worked on her horse. We got a great result. She was really happy. Um, it was a nice horse, and I had the Big Sky then, so the Big Sky Mineral. So she begged me to look at this other horse, and when I went into the stall, oh my God, this horse was laying down, foundered uh, laminitis all four feet, and was on a dry lot. So it had to have been a chemical change that caused the laminitis. So, and they didn't feed it any grass at all. It had a muzzle on it, dry lot, and they were still having issues. Hold on. So anyway, so to make a long story, I mean, the horse was like, in, in, I mean, underweight, extreme pain. I said, what the vets say? You know, he looks like to me, <laughs> he needs to be put down, you know? So I said, you know, really, you need to call the vet and have this horse euthanized because if you're battling laminitis and you're feeding the commercial feed and blah, 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 woof, woof, you're really damaging the horse. So she begged me like you wouldn't believe and i told her i was like you know i can't help this horse you know i'm you know if you listen to me we have a chance we have a chance if you listen to me well make a long story short <laughs> um it wasn't her horse it was the barn owner's horse but the barn owner agreed to do everything i told her to do and so in my book natural equine remedies i have a remedies chart for laminitis and it's from the early 1900s and it's with homeopathics so we added that and we added the the uh, high track with this which is a um probiotic that's, there's only two on the whole world two probiotics in the whole world that actually work the other stuff gets eaten up before the horse gets it into his stomach i don't care who you buy from i'm telling you the truth so anyways to make a long story short by the time i left i had administered the protocol on the homeopathics i had them all with me and i syringe apple cider vinegar i had cayenne with me i did it all i mean i had my whole setup the horse was up and it actually pooped <laughs> they were really amazed i mean the horse got up the horse been laying down for three days so i said you know you gotta listen to me you're gonna take this horse off everything right now just put it on the stanley hay pellets which i brought the homeopathics and the big sky minerals so uh they were thrilled that the horse got up so you know, I was like, if you don't keep this horse on my program, this horse is not going to be here long. It's another one of those horse stories. <laughs> so anyways, um, what happened was I, this lady just did not leave me alone. She thought I was God. You know what I mean? She called me like every day, every single day and told me the horse's progress. And believe it or not, within a week, horse was running around, trotting, doing great. She said it was a miracle. It was just amazing horse did really well for two months i think it was two or three months and um it was really sound it got sound and it was doing really well on my program and then a barn manager came in with an ego and she took the horse off everything put it back on commercial feed and the horse ended up going down and no more horse he had to be buried so um but you can't, you know, convince everybody <laughs> you see something work you know? hey and you know just because I'm not a vet or I got my degree, <laughs> at least I know what holistic and homeopathics and, and natural solutions do for a horse. Okay? So, 
that's my story. Hope you liked it. Um, if you want the protocol for laminitis, um, it's in my book, Natural Equine Remedies. It's only 20 bucks. WW Happy. Um, you can get it at naturalequineremedies.com. And um, subscribe to my channel. Share this video. You know, laminitis season's coming up. And you won't believe what really causes it. <laughs> so um, it's all in the book. <laughs> or you could just, hey, shoot me a, a message on Facebook. So I'm, I'm available to talk to anybody. I mean, this isn't the first horse that I brought up. I brought up many others. So more stories about that later. Hey, you guys have a good day tomorrow. I got to feed my horses. <gasps> Bye.